Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I am so sorry I uh, messed up my video, so I'm re uploading this. Um, I had already put everything away, and then I clicked on the video. I was like, this is this is the part two of the video that I was showing. So I'd already was like halfway through the video, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, so this will be take two. Um, let's try this again. Um, let's start off with a return sender. Coming back from Ken Boswell. And I wonder if I have the cards around here. There they are. Send the 76. 77 and this Miracle Mets card because he was on their 69 team. But uh, I don't understand why this didn't work because I just saw a success uh, from I think last month, maybe February. But uh, according to Star Tiger, somebody got another return center. So I guess that's why. So I don't know where he moved within the last month. So I'll have to keep looking for him. Um, this is non kind of sort of TTM related, but. I've got this from Kershaw's Challenge. Just for a thank you for donating monthly. So I've had to stop, but uh, when I get a new job, I want to start that up again. But uh, I thought that'd be kind of cool. Maybe someday I'll send that to Clayton Kershaw. Maybe next year or something. It'd be kind of cool to get signed. Let them know that I donate. So that's that. Um, Got this return in the JFK related. He's a former Secret Service agent. This is Edward Z. Tucker. Or Edward T. Zucker. I'm completely missing it. No, Tucker. Z. Tucker. I had it right the first time. Uh, sign is Ed Tucker, and he put a uh, long description there. It says uh, to Caleb Craig with sincere best wishes for his future endeavors and but standing performance in the past. Best Ed Tucker. So, pretty cool. Service agent that will go on the political. I'm um, going the football here. Pretty good linebacker for the Vikings. They retired with the Falcons. Played 10 years. I think he was about two or three time Pro Bowler. Uh, Lonnie Warwick. That one was out since February. Signed the football signature card. And the Super Bowl 4 card. Where they lost to the Chiefs, but still cool. Here's the. I didn't zoom in there for you guys, I'm sorry. And finally got this guy back. Um, the first time, if you maybe you remember, um, got back an empty envelope, whether it fell out or it was taken out, I have no idea, but it's on the Hugh Grass this time. This time uh, he slapped a piece of tape on there, so it wouldn't happen again, but uh, Chuck Howley, and he put uh, best of luck. Very nice. There we go. Pretty sweet. Um, should be in the Hall of Fame. Don't know why he's not. He's a very good linebacker. Many Pro Bowls, Super Bowl rings, you name it. So, pretty good. Um, going to baseball here. Signing a 66 tops, and this card is from LC and my Nick. So, thank you very much, LC, for this card. From All Star Korean War veteran. Also played basketball in the ABA in the 50s. Dick Grote. I believe he played point guard or something like that. One more shortstop all-star. I think he may have won an MVP one year. And uh, I did send to him two years ago. Or almost two years ago. Um, sent it May 20th. Received back June 2nd, 2014. He signed his 88 Pacific Legends. So a uh, flashback TTM for today. So pretty cool. Always a great signer. Um, can't go wrong with getting him. So I uh, had a vintage card. Didn't want to get that signed. Probably the last time I'll send to him. Just because uh, let other people get him. So don't want to over flood him. But the request for me. So uh, next up. More picture and more 70s cards. Uh, Paul Mitchell. Signed 77 tops. He signed. It's kind of weird. This is only but maybe the second or third request I had like this. Where he signed over the facsimile signature there, but it doesn't look too bad, so it's alright. They signed 78 tops for my set. There with the Mariners. I believe he retired in like 1980 or some of the Brewers. Then 79 tops, and I think this has best wishes. 
but it almost looks like it could also say best of luck as well. So, not sure. Still cool, three to three. And next we have uh, on a hue grass. This will be a recurring trend. Uh, Roy Haas. He played three games for the Washington Senators in 1950. And uh, I asked him in his letter um, if he served in World War II. And I've already put the letter away, so I can't show you that. Uh, Mr. Tucker also sent a letter. Sorry about that. I had already put it away and didn't want to. I didn't want to get those out. But uh, he said that he did serve in World War II, and he sent three little cards. Um, that one's not autographed. It's a copy photo. It's still cool. That was not autographed either, but this last one is. Um, as far as I can find, that's his only card that he has. It's 55 Bowman, which is well after he played. So it's kind of weird that that was his only rookie card five years later. But uh, still cool. World War II collection. Baseball collection. And then he's almost 90 years old as well, so pretty nice. So that's for the TTMs. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. Then I got a trade slash care package from Sean Hewitt. So definitely go check him out. I'll leave the link below. Um, we... I traded uh, some, uh, well, I combined with this contest um, some autographs, some Detroit stuff. Um, let me make sure I don't mix them up here. I think that's all of them. Um, I traded them like those baseball signature cards um, made by these guys, the autograph card, but except for the baseball. I bought them a pack of those. That was the main thing, and then he sent a whole bunch of customs. And he also sent this 1984 Topps John Elway rookie, which uh, is really cool because I've never been able to own one or hold one. So this is really nice. Thank you so much, Sean. Um, wish you could have seen my reaction uh, in the first video when I opened it. I, was, I just looked at the package. I was like, oh, what's this? Like, oh, no way. So, I mean, it does have a crease, but I don't care. That's still nice to have. Very nice. Uh, card to add to the collection. Put that in my uh, care package notebook for sure. And then uh, he sent custom uh, autograph by him. And I still have one more of these I need to send out that you uh, sent back to me in a while, a while back. So it's pretty nice. I could start a Hewitt, uh, uh, Sean Hewitt autograph BC now because I got about three or four signed items by you. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, then we got. Um, this elite sweet spot we sent another elite that's elite signatures so pretty nice I don't believe I've ever had these before or sent these out uh, this one's really cool with the fire I'm, I'm not zoomed out so you can see I'm sorry This is what he does. Uh, you guys can order them from eBay or just contact him directly if you want. On YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Really like that one. It's really cool. I'll probably send some of these out to like some. Well, I'll probably save those for uh, some different guys. Um, I know I got some American Girls baseball players I could send these out to. Those will go nice with the ones I already have signed. I have about six or eight of them or something like that. And then that one, legendary. I one of those. Elite Speed Spot Signature Series. Alright, and then these are really cool. I've never seen these before. Got two of those. And then this one, uh, Mexico Sweet Love. That's really cool. Um, if Fernando Valenzuela ever starts signing, I'd totally send that one to him. But, uh, I'll have to look in and see who I can get. Who's from Mexico. Signs in the U.S. Whether current or former. So thank you so much, Sean. Really nice stuff. Again, I wish you could have seen my reaction in the first video. Um, you may have. I don't know. I didn't check the comments. I turned on my computer like, oh shoot. I didn't. I uploaded the video wrong. So sorry, guys. Um, hey, I guess you get the watch it again, huh? <laughs> so that's it, guys. Talk to you later. Enjoy your weekend.
and uh, bye.